but why am I optimistic? And it goes back to the notion of identity. And I think in my generation when I grew up, which is you know, only one in generation or two more than most of you, <laughs> uh, I am what I wear, what I own, what I control. That is how identity, in some superficial sense, is crafted. Um, and that leads to a lot of pathological behaviors in our society. I want to suggest that today's kids that grow up digital, believe it or not, don't think that they are in terms of what they wear, although you may find that hard to believe. <laughs> uh, Ten years ago, that was more true. That they are what they wear uh, and what they control and what they own. Um, today's kids, I claim, that growing up digital, their identity is defined by what they have created and shared and, this part is critical, and others have built on. It's not just a question of creating, it's not just a question of sharing, but it's sharing in a way that others have built on. And so their sense of identity comes from that. Now, think about the blogosphere. Now, it's easy to make fun of the blogosphere because I, you know, I run against out to everybody, okay? Um, but if you really understand kind of the dynamics of hardcore blogging, such as Andrew Sullivan talks about in Atlantic Monthly, um, you know, you put ideas out there, you've exposed yourself, you made a provisional idea, and then you actually expect people to take those ideas, play with them, and then push them back at you. Um, and that sense of play with and push back, and that sense of build on is such a key part. And if you actually look at his beautiful article, Why I Blog, I think it was the Atlantic Monthly, six months ago or so, Andrew Sullivan, um, what I found so interesting looking at his blog over the last two or three years is I've seen him go through amazing transformations in what he deeply thought. Now, you don't see that in most writers. Um, you don't see it in academics, I can tell you. <laughs> uh, there is something going on in this sense of identity construction through doing provisional ideas and getting honest to God feedback and then being forced to think through those that are actually leading to not only a transformed Andrew Sullivan, but a deeply embedded Andrew Sullivan in some very new powerful ideas. Um, and so I think that we're beginning to see again this notion of identity in terms of what have I created, other people have built on uh, and pushed back at me and forced me to think about some things. There is where I think we're headed. And that is the single most optimistic thing I've seen happening in a long time. Thank you.